Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and today we are going to do a moving vlog. So for those that don't know, we have bought a house. It is our first home and we are super duper excited about it. And it is out in the countryside in Ireland and it is so, so beautiful out there. We are so looking forward to moving. So for the last couple of weeks, I have been packing up things in the house that we don't need sort of straight away and just starting to get ahead of the packing. We don't know exactly when our move-in date is going to be. The house is still being finished. It's almost there, but we're just not sure when that final sort of move-in date will be. So yeah, so let me take you through our first first moving vlog, first packing up vlog, and how I went through everything to decide what to keep and what to declutter. So I have gone through this whole process of pulling out things that I haven't used in the past year and decluttering it or putting it to the side and making sure that I am keeping things and taking things to the new house that are intentional and purposeful and as you can probably see the background behind me has changed significantly because I have packed up my books I've packed up a whole lot of stuff in the kitchen sort of living area a lot of our decor we've gotten to this place where we are just living with our necessities at the moment we have also gone through and decluttered and packed up most of our wardrobes we still have quite a few clothes left obviously but we've packed up a lot of sort of seasonal gear and I've gone through and decluttered a whole lot of stuff out of my wardrobe so let's get into the vlog so my first point of was decluttering my wardrobe and packing up parts of my wardrobe so I do this I suppose maybe like four times a year once a quarter where I just pull all of my clothes out of my wardrobe put them on the bed and just start sorting through them I take out things that maybe don't fit me anymore or you know that I just don't feel very good in I put them to the side and generally what I'll do is I'll actually keep them for a while to see if I miss them or if I want to reach back to them, uh, in which case I'll bring them back into my wardrobe, but I just put them to the side and I also reach out to my friends and my family to see if there is anyone that wants to take certain items. And so this is essentially what I did. I pulled out everything from my wardrobe and I started packing up particularly like my big chunky knits. I am really hoping that we're going to be in the new house before the real cold of winter sets in. At the moment it's autumn and it's lovely and I can manage with a few of the knits that I've kept out but I don't have, I think I kept out one chunky knit just in case but I don't have any of my big sort of comfy chunky knits um, so I packed up a lot of that I, that I won't need to reach for in the next couple of months I suppose until next year so that's all packed up in my big red suitcase and I've been left with a very full wardrobe but still with enough stuff that I can continue on throughout the next couple of months so that was the first big job done and really thrilled that that got done the next job that I tackled was sort of our kitchen dining room living room area here I just pulled together a whole lot of decor items that were lying around the house I packed up a whole lot of sort of things like photo albums and linens and pieces like that that I thought I could fill together and surprisingly I managed to pack up a whole lot of stuff. I'm really really proud of the amount of stuff that I've managed to pack up. 
I also have a whole sort of section, which I don't think I filmed, where I've got boxes for donation and I've also put together a pile of donations for the dog shelter that we support with a whole lot of the dogs sort of unused items or stuff that they don't really use anymore so like some harnesses and leads and blankets and things like that but also a couple of bowls and things like that in there so we will be dropping all of that stuff off at the shelter and at the donation bins really really soon as I was decluttering my kitchen, I realized that my cookware had really reached the end of its life. I have had my cookware set for a ridiculous number of years. I think it's almost like, yeah, I, I, eight, seven years or something like that. I've had that cookware set for a really, really long time and they weren't particularly expensive. It's when we first sort of moved overseas and we picked up a relatively cheap cookware set and the bottoms were just all scratched up and not very very usable and um we you know repaired them a bunch of times reattached the handles all kinds of things anyway they were just coming to their end of their life and i decided that for the new house i wanted to treat myself to some new cookware and I researched high and low for a new set of cookware and I ended up going with our place and they're always pan and always pot and I'm so thrilled that I did. This pan and pot are so beautiful, so so incredible. I actually I just unboxed them for this video so that you can see them and see how gorgeous they are but I have not yet used them so I will only use them in the new house so currently they are packed away they are ready to go into the new house as soon as we move but for now I just wanted to show you how gorgeous they are and our place have very kindly sent me a couple of accessories as well as an affiliate link for myself so if you would like to support me and you know refresh your own cookware please click the link in the description box below it will really really help me as i say but i i will test and review these pans in the new house and i'm so looking forward to it because oh my goodness look how pretty they are i just i just love them they are so so gorgeous so so pretty yes i went for two different colors and i'm so happy i did the next step that I wanted to tackle once I'd kind of pulled all of the decor and linen and sort of ancillary bits out of the house was to pack my bookshelves. And if you would have seen, I did a bookshelf tour very recently. I will leave that link in the corner here. But it, I have a lot of books. Um, I think I have probably about a thousand books. I haven't counted them, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is nearing the range of about a thousand. I think the last time I counted, which was a couple of years ago, there was like 600. So I am, I would not be surprised if we are at a thousand now, but I decided to start packing up my books because it was going to take a while and it took me a couple of days to do so and also because we are selling these bookshelves so that we can put in proper built-in bookshelves in the new house which i'm really looking forward to and looking forward to styling them and designing them and taking you along on the journey as we put in new bookshelves in the house which will be really really exciting so what I ended up doing was I got three of the big sort of plastic containers from Ikea. These ones are actually really great. They have little wheels on the bottom so I can, instead of trying to lift these big containers of books that are incredibly heavy, I can just wheel them around, which I think is gonna be so useful when we are moving. I also got two smaller sort of black containers and these ones are a bit more 
sturdy, a bit more hard wearing, and I thought I'd get two of them to put my sort of very special collections in, like my Elf Bet set and a couple of my, I suppose, vintage cloth bound books that are a bit more fragile. And so I got two of those, but I think I'm going to need to get another one. As you can see in the background, there are still some books here that need to be packed away that did not fit into the containers. So I want to maybe get one more and then have those packed up. I still have my reading trolley over here, which still has my university books, so I haven't packed that up yet. But most of my books have been packed up and my bookshelves are relatively empty, which is quite sad. But that is sort of the first part of the moving or packing up stuff done. I will take you along as we kind of go through. We have seen the house, we've inspected it. It has, um, there are a few things that still need to be finished up. As I said, we have gone in, we've chosen floors that we need to put into the house. So everything is moving. It is just taking a bit of time, but I hope you enjoyed this first moving vlog with me and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up like it subscribe um it really helps my channel so so much and thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye